The Go Racing in Kildare Stakes is next, although we're not in Kildare, we're still in Ascot, or at Ascot. And let's take a look at the field for this two and a half mile maiden, so a long distance race this time. Arthur's Pass is the top one for Craig Allen, Broken Promise, Ryan Tamasevi, Everlast, Joshua Sutherland, Illustrated, Craig Beckwith, Libra Eddie, David Robertson, Mr Yates for Paul Rhodes, Nebo for Darren Thompson, Prometheus for Leon Van Rinsburg, Shergar, Ryan Costello, Treasure Dakala for... Alex Ince, Colville Slayer for Graham Clutterbuck, Kuiping East Vinnie Gerard, Lady Pyrene, Jim Murray, Rosanna, James Shea and Tikiti Namika for Alex Cherry. So two and a half miles this time meant a full Ascot Gold Cup trip. And away they go. I dare say one or two of these have got that as their target for the season. And some bubbles may be burst in the next four or five minutes as they wait their way through the first furlong. Apologies for the stuttery video. Apparently the race winners are having a bit of a problem with a race kit at the moment. Well, I'm sure all those problems will be ironed out in the first few weeks of the season. And Rosanna has gone on into the lead then. So Rosanna leads by about two or three lengths to Lady Pyren, who's in second. And then Mr Yates and Ella Last Treasure De Carla is after that one looking towards the back of the field. And they're, well, they're pretty tightly packed actually. And it's difficult to pick out a back marker at the moment. It's probably just Kai Ping East on the rail. But they've got an awful long way to go. And Rosanna is in front by about three lengths to Lady Pyrene in second. Then comes Everlast and Treasure De Carla. Mr Yates is after that one. A broken Promise, Libra Eddie. The one widest on the track at the moment is Colville Slayer. Looking towards the back. Nebo is now just about the back marker. Nubo. And Rosanna comes up then past the stand. And past the winning post shortly. Past the well behaved, socially distanced ish crowd. As a Rosanna comes past this winning post, then with a complete circuit of the Ascot track to go. Lady Pyrene has moved into second. Then comes Treasure to Carla as we see them racing away from us. And the first week of the season now well underway. And 12 more weeks to go. So we've got, yeah. Horses off to the start that you were hoping for. And Rosanna is in the lead by about four or five lengths to Lady Pyrene in second. Then Treasure De Carla in the purple and green on the inside is third. Mr Yates is next. And then the two red coloured horses. Everlast is the Joshua Sutherland red and black hoops. Broken Promise is the red of Ryan Talasebi. Then comes Shergar on the inside in the blue jacket. And Arthur's pass after that one. And then Nubo with Libra Eddie. And Colville Slayer, Kuiping East is after that one, then Prometheus and Illustrated with Takiti Namika just about the back marker at this stage. Well, they've got a mile and a quarter still to go, and the jockey on Rosanna having a little look behind to see where they all are. And I can see that Lady Pyrene is the closest pursuer, but Mr Yates is pretty close up, and that's probably come from the Paul Rhodes yard. And he looks to have a good stand, doesn't he? And it's Rosanna who's in front from Mr Yates in second. I'm surprised to see no John Morgan in this race. He's only good with his flat stairs, but I don't think he's got any flat runners this season. And Rosanna's in front from Mr Yates in second. Lady Pyrene is third, and then Broken Promise. Treasure to Carlos after that one. Then Colville Slayer, Shergar in the dark blue jacket. Then Prometheus in the similar coloured jacket, but the yellow cap. The one with the orange sleeves is making a good run through the field. There is Alex Cherry's Takiti Namika, but they're coming down towards the final six furlong, and now Treasure De Carla has taken the lead. Mr Yates is still in second as Rosanna drops away in third. Nubo is now coming with a run. Lady Pyrene is going to be stuck for room. Broken Promise is switched to the outside, still making ground. Is Takiti Namika. Prometheus is also going well. So too is Colville Slayer. Libra Eddie trying to get into it as well, but it's Rosanna and Treasure De Carla. Mr Yates, then Nubo, then Broken Promise. Lady Pyrene is going to need a real bit of luck to get through from there. Then comes Colville Slayer, Prometheus, Takichi, and Mika is still there as well. So is Libra as they begin to sweep towards home with just four furlongs to go. And it's Rosanna in the lead still, but they're queuing up behind and they're all coming through the chance. Look at this one now for Vinnie Gerard. Kuiping East has burst through from nowhere to take it up. It's Kuiping East who's taken it up. Mr. Yates on the inside there now goes on. It's Mr. Yates from Kuiping East. Colville Slayer is still there. Illustrated is making good ground. So too's Nubo, but it's Mr. Yates in front. Kuiping East. Here comes Illustrated. 
Yates in, but it's Mr. Yates in the lead, then coming down towards the final two furlongs. Mr. Yates in front, then the stranger throwing out a big challenge in second. Then comes Kuiping, he's half as pass, is also trying to run on, but it's Mr. Yates in front from Illustrated. These two are clear, they race towards the final furlong. It's Mr. Yates by three quarters of a length. Illustrated is in second. Mr. Yates is still in front. Illustrated is trying to close. It's Mr. Yates. Illustrated is getting closer, but it's Mr. Yates still in the lead as they flush past that post. It's Mr. Yates that takes Illustrated second half, passes third, then game Kuiping, he's broken, promised Nubo after that one to Keating. Amiga looks to be going really well and dropping right out of it at the end and it's Mr Yates it's another one off the production line for Paul Rhodes and really good run by Illustrated in second though so Mr Yates takes it for Paul Rhodes Illustrated for Craig Beckwith was second he'll be pleased with that Arthur's pass for Craig Allen was third Kuiping East for Vinnie Gerard fourth and Broken Promise for Ryan Tamasebi was fifth